Okay, so we have our cuttlefish ring, and there's a bunch of areas that have been filed down for an aesthetic choice, but we're gonna hit that with the buffer to take some of the burr off of that interior region so it's just polished and smooth because the file doesn't necessarily hit those spots. You wanna be careful because these prongs can really bite in to your buffing width. But before you start, you wanna make sure if you have any loose hair that that's tied back, that if you have any loose clothing that that is removed or tied back in a way that's not gonna get sucked in the equipment. And then you're going to make sure that your light is on. You're gonna turn the buffing wheel until it is on. Firmly. Okay, so there is a helical thread that's tapered that bites into the buffing wheel. And then you're going to turn your ventilation on, turn the machine on, apply a small amount of this bobbing compound, then hold your material firmly so that you can lift up. So at this point, we can clean our piece with a little bit of dish soap after we've buffed it and a toothbrush. So all you have to do is add a splash of water and then scrub all of the buffing compound off because that is a grease-based abrasive, right? They put fine powder in a wax that they can apply to the buffing muslin. You want to use a degreaser. I use a, like a standard dish soap works really, really well. And that'll take all of the rouge or white diamond or brown Tripoli or bobbing compound that you have off here. And I used um, bobbing compound to really take down the details from the filing so that they're nice and smooth. And then I hit it with a red rouge to really buff out the highlights. I don't really want to buff cuttlefish. You never really want to buff cuttlefish too harsh because you're trying to keep that texture. But in general, Red Rouge will do a good job bringing out the highlights while maintaining the low lights and not really taking off much of your texture. So that's something to be aware of. So that is the cuttlefish ring buffed out with all those details, nice and soft, so it's ready for the stone setting.